I'm back, and this video is going to be part two of my Japanese fashion series. So before, as you can see here, I did one on Japanese women fa women's fashion, and today I thought I'd follow it up, and let's talk about men's fashion. So I'll start from the very beginning. So for boys, they usually have a school uniform. So a typical boys' uniform will look something like this. So you see like the black button up. It has kind of like that Asian collar, like a Chinese collar on there. And it's usually a black or like a navy blue. There's some variations of it, but that's the basic thing. You can see variations here. Another one is more like a western suit. Let me see if I can scroll down here and find one. What's with these? Are, like this is from anime. I don't know if anybody actually wears that. Um, let's see. Here, this is kind of a, a good one. If it wasn't so small. Uh, sorry about that. But you can see here, it's more of a traditional western suit. It's nothing special. It's usually a jacket and it has a pair of pants. Or sometimes even a sweater and has a necktie. So, you'll see this with, I don't know, like most boys. I think you have here with like this, uh, like, what is it, outline going around there. I'm, I'm not sure if I've ever seen that in real life. I've only heard that in anime, but maybe some schools have that. I'm, I'm not sure. But these types are the most common that you'll see most often. But let's move on from there and let's move on, on to adult fashion. So what you see... Almost all men wearing, if you come to someplace like Tokyo, is something like this, a suit. So sometimes it'll just be the suit and a white shirt and a tie. Sometimes they have a vest. Um, as you can see here, there's various types of ties and vests. Mostly you'll see like blues. Every once in a while you will see a red, but I don't know. I've, I haven't seen so many of them. Uh, they're not particularly flashy. Usually it'll be a black, a gray, a dark blue, etc. I'm trying to think. That maybe like I can count the times I've seen suits in other colors, like on the like on one hand. They do have like those kind of older style suits, like I don't know what you call it, old man suits like this, where it's like a plaid pattern. I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm offending people. I know there's people like, hey, I'm, I'm not old. I wear those types of suits, but whatever. You know, that looks like an old professor suit. Anyways, so these colors are the most common. Like a white suit, I don't know if I've ever seen that. Uh, pink suit, I've seen like on like comedians on TV, but in real life, I don't know if I've ever seen like a pink suit or a uh, green suit or like baby blue. Those seem to be really rare, although I'm sure they're someplace. Um, but like these traditional dark colors are the ones you're going to see most of the time, and most men are going to be wearing something like this. Sometimes they have stripes, but it's basically this. And I do have to say, Japanese men do actually, for the most part, do a pretty good job of keeping their clothes like they fit well generally and they're usually creased up especially like young men so i don't know i'm from america and i, I know i've had suits that are like ah, it doesn't fit you know like so well sometimes it's okay but sometimes it's not so good but japanese men usually it'll look like what you see in this ad here where they're really sharp and uh, they fit well Usually when someone is about 20, I guess three years old, they graduate from university and they have to go for their first job interview. And because, you know, they're trying to get a job, they buy a new suit. And I forgot there's a special name for it, but it's like your first suit and people spend money on it. And they have this really nice looking suit and they'll continue to wear it for years until it, you know, it doesn't look nice anymore. But usually for those first, first few years, you'll see like a young man and he has a nice suit and he's looking sharp. So... Uh, I think that's one difference. I, though I've seen, obviously seen like men in America with sharp looking suits. I think it's kind of like the norm in Japan. It's kind of surprising, but anyways, let's move on. So let's move to more traditional stuff. You can see Japanese men's kimonos. So I would say something like this is the most common type of men's kimono. You'll see this oftentimes for weddings or something like that. As you can see here, there's other ones, like, this looks really cool. I actually really like this, but I've never seen a man wear a kimono like this in real life. Maybe, like, a kabuki actor or something like this. But as I said before in the other videos, these kimonos are really, really expensive. <laughs> so, I imagine most people can't afford, even, like, the black one, I'm sure is, like, costing thousands of dollars i'm sure this is getting up to be about the price of a car so most people probably won't have this unless your job requires it like 
for example, a kabuki actor probably needs kimono, so they might have it. And let me see. There's a few other pictures here. Ooh. These all are really... I like that silver one. I haven't seen these. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm having fun by myself here. But uh, these are all really cool-looking kimonos that look amazing, but I don't know if you'll ever see these. Uh, but, you know, it's cool to look sometime. I, I don't know what some of these are. This looks like a Geta, which I explained in the other video. If you want more explanation about that, you can check that out. But let's talk about uh, some other things, like more modern fashion that you'd see someone wear. Of course, like men are wearing like jeans and t-shirts and all that kind of stuff. But there's other things. Like uh, recently it's been popular. It's called um, MA1 Bomber Jacket. So I'll try to put a picture on the screen. So these are really popular, and uh, lots of people, lots of men are buying these, and so I think 2016, 2017, these are really popular. If you really want to be in fashion, you know, definitely check that out. Another one is a uh, uh, Canada Goose Down Jacket. Um, I think the brand is called Canada, but these are also very popular. Another one is a Rider's Jacket. One that I really like is called Sakajan. Yeah, so Skajan. So these come from the area of Yokosuka. So Yokosuka is a big like military base for America. So after World War II, lots of uh, servicemen were stationed there, and they have like these old kind of like Letterman's jackets, and the people there would sew on them with silk, and they'd sew different things in them. And you see Kanye West wearing one here, kind of a strange one, but they usually look like this. And, you know, they'd be embroidered with silk and things like that. And they're called uh, Tsukajan. Tsuka was from Yokosuka. And Jan is like jacket. Jan. So, uh, I guess you kind of get it. But you see, it, they come in many different colors. You see Kanye West wearing one. Um, these. That color is kind of strange. I haven't seen that one before. But that's another example. Um, I don't know. You seen a jacket? Is that the guy from... I don't know, he's uh, from, I don't know, what, One Direction? I don't know, I'm not so... I don't know One Direction very much. Uh, Wiz Khalifa wearing one. Uh, let me see if I can go back here and find some other pictures of them. But these are very popular now, but they're very expensive. So you can see there's some with, like... Oftentimes they have dragons, uh, like this, tigers. Uh, here's one with a bunch, like a skull on it. Uh, Phoenix. So they all have all sorts of cool designs. I like this one with the uh, flowers on it, the cherry blossoms. Uh, so these are really awesome, but unfortunately, they're oftentimes expensive if you want one that's made of actual silk. But these are very popular, and they're very, very cool. I like this one. It has a hokusai on it. I don't know where you can buy these. I actually want one of these. I might buy one of these for myself, but... Uh, you can see them everywhere, so it's really cool. And you can see here, as I mentioned in my other video, those masks. So this guy is really you know, <laughs> putting on a black mask with it, so he's mashing everything up. So that's cool. Um, but you can definitely check that out. And if you want to spend some money and give someone a cool souvenir, this is what I would recommend. As far as other things, there's, of course, like shoes. Uh, someone told me that a brand called Red Wing makes popular shoes. Uh, about two or three years ago, New Balance shoes were really popular. Now they've kind of gone down in popularity. Another one that I hadn't heard of was uh, Superga. Those shoes are apparently popular. And Keds, I was, probably, I was surprised about, but uh, Keds are supposedly popular, as well as Vans. So these kind of, like, really plain shoes where they're not, like, uh, basketball shoes or they're not, like, running shoes, but just kind of, like, plain canvas shoes are popular now. So hopefully that gives you some idea of things that are popular with Japanese men. Um, another thing I should mention is... Uh, what is it? Uh, the scarves are really popular. Lots of men, uh, you know, use scarves here. And I just looked over here. There's a crazy swastika here. Oh, that's not good. But uh, <laughs> anyways, I should mention this for people that don't know. This, it, like Western culture, this is known as a swastika. But it's actually a manji, which is a bit different. So if you read Bleach, you know that like on Ichigo's sword, it has this symbol. And people are like, why, why is there a swastika there? But actually, this is, has a different meaning in uh, 
Japanese. And if you actually come to Japan and you look on something like Google Maps or something, you'll see like these swastikas everywhere, which could be disconcerting, but don't worry. It's the symbol for temple. So if you go there, it's not like there's a bunch of like Nazis there or anything. <laughs> you'll be safe. It's only, there'll only be a temple there. But uh, that's why you see this in some places if you're wondering like why there are you know, like these swastikas everywhere. But you know, don't worry. <laughs> don't be afraid. So... I guess that's about it for the most part. Uh, in general, I would say, like, comparing it to American fashion, Japanese have been probably a little bit more fashion conscious, I would say. And another thing is, Japanese men, just like Japanese women, don't like to show off so much skin. So it's very rare to see, like, a man in Japan walking around with, like, a tank top. And I don't think I've, besides the beach, I'm not sure if I've ever seen a Japanese man uh, walk around, like, topless which probably in America you probably shouldn't be doing that. But, you know, you can understand it sometimes. Like, you're playing, like, basketball outside. You do shirts and skins. In Japan, I haven't seen, like, boys or men really do that. Or, you know, like, I'm doing some work outside and it's hot, so take my shirt off and cut the grass or something like that. I haven't really seen that in Japan, so that's uh, another kind of difference. Or even, like, showing off your arms so it's, like, a completely short sleeve shirt, like a, a tank top or a sleeveless shirt. Those aren't really popular, so that's uh, another thing and also it seems like beards haven't beards and other facial hair haven't been popular in Japan for I don't know maybe 50 60 years or so so you, you probably won't see that the clean shaven look is what you'll see on probably about 85 to 90 percent of Japanese men that's about all I have to say about Japanese men's fashion if you have a question you can ask me and hopefully I can help you with it but uh, until next time see you